Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on contour integration type 2. In the end of the unit, we are seeing applications of Cauchy residue theorem to evaluate real integrals. In the previous video, we learned how to apply Cauchy residue theorem to evaluate certain real definite integrals. In this session, we are going to deal with improper integral of rational functions. In this session, we are going to deal integrals of the form minus infinity to infinity p of x divided by q of x, where p of x and q of x are some polynomials in x such that they have a condition the degree of q of x is at least 2 more than the degree of p of x. That means if your p of x is x square plus a square, your q of x should be like x power 4 plus a power 4 or it may be like x power 5 plus a power 5. Now you can see the degree of the denominator that is q of x is 4 and degree of numerator is 2. So degree of q of x is at least 2 more than the degree of p of x. Here also we can see degree of the denominator is 5 and degree of the numerator is 2. So this is at least 2 more than the numerator that is p of x. Hope you understand. And the second condition q of x should not have real roots. That means q of x should not be 0 when you substitute any real value of x. Suppose your q of x that is the denominator is x square minus a square. If I substitute x equal to a then it will become 0. So it is not eligible. So your q of x should not vanish when I put any value of x that belongs to real number. So your denominator might be like x square plus a square, x power 4 plus a power 4 etc. So we have two conditions, integral of the form minus infinity to infinity p of x divided by q of x dx. The degree of q of x is at least 2 more than the degree of p of x and q of x has no real roots. Then I can solve this problem using Cauchy residue theorem. Now to evaluate the integral, I am just converting the problem as integral over c p of z divided by q of z dz. That means just convert this into complex plane. Write p of x as p of z and q of x as q of z into dz. Then there comes a question what is this c? c is the simple closed contour consisting of two contents. The first one is the real axis minus r to r and the second one is upper semicircle. So real axis minus r to r and upper semicircle in the anti-clockwise direction. This is very important. The direction is anti-clockwise. Now you can imagine the upper semicircle. That means when you take the upper part of the semicircle, always you can see, for example, suppose you have poles like this, z is equal to plus i minus i plus 3i minus 3i. So all the negative values of i goes below to the upper semicircle and all the positive values of i lies inside the upper semicircle because we are going to take r is very very large. The radius is very very large so that all the positive values of the poles lies inside the upper semicircle. Now how to solve the problem? We have to consider f of z as simply p of z divided by q of z. And then we said the simple closed contour f of z is consisting of two regions that is minus r to r, the real axis, f of x dx and the upper semicircle capital S into f of z dz. We take this as equation 1. Now our job is to evaluate this using Cauchy residue theorem. At the end using Cauchy lemma we get the solution. So using Cauchy residue theorem we can find the solution for integral over c f of z dz. In the case of the right hand side we are going to deal with Cauchy's lemma. Now to tackle the RHS we are going to use Cauchy's lemma. What Cauchy lemma says when r tends to infinity because we need to find the solution for integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx. When r tends to infinity integral over s f of z dz tends to 0. Therefore substituting this in 1 
we get simply integral over minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to integral over c f of z dz that we already solved using Cauchy residue theorem. Hope you understand the procedure for improper integrals of the form p of x divided by q of x provided the degree of q of x is 2 more than the degree of p of x and q of x will never become 0 for any real value. Next, let us see an example problem. Evaluate integral over minus infinity to infinity x square divided by x square plus a square into x square plus b square dx. Step 1. First, let us take f of x is equal to given question and we have to check the numerator and denominator. We see f of x is the rational function with degree of the denominator is 2 more than the degree of the numerator because degree of the denominator is x square into x square that is 4. Degree of numerator is 2. So, degree of denominator is 2 more than numerator and we can see denominator be never 0 for any real value of x. So, the condition satisfied. Next, we have to convert this into z. That is our step 2. So, I am directly converting the problem into z by replacing x by z. So, we get z square divided by z square plus a square into z square plus b square dz. Where c is the simple close to contour, it consists of two things. We can imagine the first one is real axis minus r to r. The second one is upper semicircle mod z equal to r in the anti-clockwise direction and we assume r is very very large. The diagram is necessary. Now we are going to solve the problem. Step 3, we are going to take the f of x now as f of z and we are going to write the closed contour as integral over minus r to r f of x dx plus integral over s f of z dz. This is together known as simple closed contour integral over c f of z dz and we are going to take this as equation 1. Now we are going to solve the right hand side. The right hand side I can easily solve by Cauchy residue theorem. At first I want to take the denominator to find the poles. So we have z square plus a square into z square plus b square equal to 0. We will take this individually and we get z square equal to minus a square, z square equal to minus b square. So, z equal to plus or minus ai and here z equal to plus or minus bi. None of the poles is repeated poles. Therefore, we can say all the poles are simple poles. And in the question, it is given as a and b are greater than 0. Now, from the figure, it is very easy to say z equal to ai and bi or lies somewhere inside the circle because r is very large. Suppose your z is 100i, I can take r as 1000 or 10,000 are very big. So, all the positive values of z lies inside the upper semicircle and all the negative values of z like minus a, minus b that lies outside the region. Therefore, we have to find residues at the point z equal to ai and z equal to bi. First, let us find the residue for the simple pole z equal to AI. We know that R of A is equal to limit Z tends to A, Z minus A into F of Z. And F of Z, I can write the denominator according to my convenience. This is my F of Z. When I solve for A, I will rewrite this as Z plus AI, Z minus AI. When I solve for the residue BI, here I can simplify this as Z plus BI, Z minus BI. So R of AI when I cancel this 2 and substituting z equal to ai, I get ai square divided by ai plus ai. Here, ai square plus b square. Now, ai square is minus a square in the denominator 2 ai. ai square is minus a square plus b square. Now, cancelling this a and taking minus outside, we have minus a divided by minus 2i, a square minus b square. Now, cancelling this minus, we get the final solution for residue of ai. In the similar way, one can easily solve for bi. Now, we have to write the simplified version for bi and we can cancel this. Now, substituting the value of z, we get bi square divided by bi plus bi 
bi square plus a square. Simplifying this, we get minus b square divided by 2bi into a square minus b square. Now, cancelling this, finally we get the solution for r of bi, that is minus b divided by 2i into a square minus b square. So, finally, we apply Cauchy residue theorem, that is nothing but 2 pi i into sum of the residues. We have two residues here. Substituting this and taking 2i in common, we have a minus b divided by a square minus b square. Now, a square minus b square can be written as a minus b into a plus b. Now, I can cancel these two and 2i. So, our final solution is integral over c f of z d z is pi divided by a plus b. Let us take this as 2. Now, substitute this 2 in equation 1. Just we recall from step 3. We get integral over minus r to r f of x dx plus integral over s f of z d z is pi by a plus b. Now, we have to use Cauchy lemma. By Cauchy lemma, when r tends to infinity, then integral over s f of z d z tends to 0. So, this term will become 0. Therefore, we can directly write minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is pi divided by a plus b. This f of x dx is nothing but my question. So, I can write this as integral over minus infinity to infinity x square divided by x square plus a square into x square plus b square dx is equal to pi divided by a plus b. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.